Hello, everybody. This is Patrick and Bryce with Stone Security. Today's webisode is going to be how, uh, how to run and build a custom report within S2. Uh, and without further ado, support engineer Bryce Fuller. Thank you, Pat. So to get into the reports uh, area, you click on the administration tab within S2 which is the person and the little key in front of them. You select the reports area, and we'll show you how to build a couple different uh, custom reports. The first one we're gonna show is within history. You can go into history and you can go to custom history report, and you can click new report, enter in a name, and then you have to choose the fields that you want. So we'll select the date and time, which is going to be the date and time of the controller. For those customers who are across multiple time zones, you might want to have the date and time as well as the node date and time. So the date and time is going to be the time zone of the controller and the node date and time is going to be the local time to where they scanned their card. So then we'll also add in, uh, we'll go through and we'll add in the person ID. So the person's ID number, we'll add who they are. We'll add in some node information on where they scanned. And we'll also add in events as well as the location and a description. Then you can actually come in and so we can hit save at this point and you can run the report, but you can also select filters. So if you want this to only show you what happens on Sunday, every Sunday, you can select just Sunday. So you can do um, absolute dates and times. So you can select, I want it to be run May 22nd, or you can choose relative dates such as yesterday, last Sunday, last Tuesday. So you can say, I want the report to run from last Sunday through today. You can then choose people filters. So you can say, I want to see everybody that their first name is equal to Bryce. I want to see everybody who's gone through specific portals. So I only want to see people who have gone through the projects entry portal as well as our main entry. And I'm actually going to clear this out. And we want to see everything. So I'm not going to select everything, uh, anything here, but you can actually select, I want to see access granted, access denied. If you have alarm panels tied in, you can see, I want to see who's deactivating the alarm panel by scanning their card. We'll save this and then we'll click run report. So this is going to run out the report and this is going to show today at 11.02, Riley scanned his card at the project's entry portal and was given access granted, which is on our Salt Lake City node. So if we had multiple nodes uh, or panels, it would actually show which panel it's on as well as the uh, identifying information. Um, so that's the custom history report. And now I'll show you how to build a custom people report. So in here, you go back from the history reports to people reports, and you can go to custom person report, and we'll build a new report here. We'll call it demo. So we want it to tell us the access level that the person has, the card number that they have, 
the format that it's in, the status of it, whether it's been activated or deactivated. We want to see their first name. We want to see their last name. We want to see the last access that they had. And we'll see their person ID. I think that should be good. And then you can filter once again based on any of the information. So if you have a lot of employees, you, you can sort through those easier, run a filter so, uh, by their name, by their access level. We can sort it by last name or first name or both. You can click save, run the report, and then this is going to run it out and show everybody who's in here entered in and their first name and last name and it's sorted by last name. You can then within all of the reports, once it's run out, you can click CSV and it's automatically going to open it within an Excel spreadsheet for you to a lot easier manipulate through and sort through all of the information uh, just by filtering on each of the columns. And that's everything, Pat. Awesome, Bryce. Thank you so much. So that was how to run a uh, run and build custom reports within S2. If you guys have any questions or want to see uh, a custom report that maybe was not shown today, uh, please reach out to support at stonesecurity.net. Have a great day.